As always, I want to start by identifying the unit fraction. Remember, the unit fraction is the value of one piece of the whole. Our unit must always have a one as our numerator. So I'm going to look at this first whole right here. I notice there's one, two, three pieces. So the unit fraction will have a numerator of one, my fraction bar, and then a three. And I would say that as one third. We'll also notice that this fraction is larger than one, so it is an improper fraction and a mixed number. We will begin by doing the improper fraction. So let's identify how much of the first whole is shaded. And I notice one, two, three pieces out of three pieces are shaded. So my numerator is a three and my denominator is a three. Remember, since our unit fraction has a three of, in the denominator, there needs to be a three everywhere we go. If we take a look at our second hole, we have one, two, three pieces shaded in with three pieces in the hole. Our last one, we have one piece shaded in with one, two, three pieces in the hole. So our answer, of course, needs a three as the denominator. But to find the numerator, I can add three plus three plus one together, or I can count how many pieces are shaded in. I'm going to do both just to check. So I know that three plus three is six, plus one more should give me seven. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my improper fraction is seven thirds. In order to identify our mixed number, you'll remember a mixed number is a whole number with a proper fraction. Remember an improper fraction is where the numerator is equal to or larger than the denominator, but our mixed number has a whole number in there. So instead of identifying how many pieces are shaded in in the whole, we will see that we will represent it as a whole number if it's possible. So here we see our whole first shape is shaded in. So we are going to represent that with a one because one is a whole number. We'll look at our second. We notice that all three pieces are shaded in as well. So that is going to be plus another one. And lastly, our last circle has one third shaded in. And you'll notice that for our improper fraction and our mixed number, the last piece is going to be the same. Now in order to identify the whole number in the mixed number, I need to add my whole numbers together. So I have one plus one. Those are my only mixed numbers, so I know one plus one equals two. And I'm left with my proper fraction of one third. So our improper fraction is seven thirds. Our mixed number is two and one third. Don't forget to always use your unit fraction to help you with the denominator. Remember, the denominator is how many pieces are in one hole. All of your holes have the same amount of pieces, so I like to start with the first hole, and that will help you identify your denominator.